promises, standing on the promises, standing on the promises of God our Savior, standing on the promises, standing on the promises, I'm standing on the promises of God, standing on the promises of Christ my King, through eternal ages as His praise is reign, glory in the highest I will shout and sing. Standing on the promises of God. Standing on the promises, standing on the promises, standing on the promises of God, my Savior. Standing on the promises, standing on the promises, standing on the promises of God. Good morning, boys and girls. You are all welcome to Sunday school. Hope you had a lovely week. God bless you. Before we start our lesson, hands together, let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning for bringing us to Sunday school. We thank you for our friends and our parents. We thank you for our teachers. Come and teach us our lessons. Write it in the flesh table of our hearts. Make us good boys and girls so that at the end, let us ring between heaven, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. You are welcome to primary part class. The title of our lesson is Found at Last. Our memory verse is Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. Say so Luke chapter 2, verse 52. Our Bible text is taken from St. Luke chapter 2, verses 40 to 52. But we are just going to read some selected verses from St. Luke chapter 2, verses 40, 42 to 46. I want you to open your Bible and read along with me. 40. And the child grew, and waxed strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. 42. And when he was 12 years old, they went up to Jerusalem after the custom of the feast. 43. And when they had filled the days, as they returned, the child Jesus tarried behind in Jerusalem. And Joseph and his mother knew not of it. 44. But they, supposing him to have been in the company, went a day's journey, and they sought him among their kinsfolk and acquaintance. 45. And when they found him not, they turned back again to Jerusalem, seeking him. 46. And it came to pass that after three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors, both hearing them and asking them questions. Children, close your Bible and listen to the lesson. Now, I want you to look up and see the pictures of when Jesus was born as a baby, as he was growing up, up to the age of 12. When Jesus was growing up, he did what God wanted him to do by helping his parents at home. Helping Mary, helping Joseph in the carpentry workshop. He was an obedient child. He loves everybody. When Jesus was 12 years old, he followed his parents to Jerusalem. For the feast of the Passover, they had to travel a long journey on foot because there, there were no cars then. That day, the feast was like when we were doing our camp meeting. There were many people. And after the feast, everybody has to return back to their different countries, to their different homes. Like every other person, 
Jesus, Joseph and Mary too were returning back to Nazareth after the end of the feast. Later, Mary discovered that Jesus was not with them. She cried aloud, Joseph, Joseph, where's my son? I can't find Jesus. Oh, my son, where could he be now? And Joseph said to Mary, don't worry. Jesus is 12 years old now. He will be fine. They were searching for him among other groups, but they couldn't find Jesus. They hurriedly ran back to the city of Jerusalem to look for him. They searched everywhere. They couldn't find Jesus. Only for them to rush to the temple. Oh, behold, Jesus was found in the temple. He was sitting among the elders of the temple, listening to them. Not only that, he was even answering questions, asking them questions. Then, from the uh, scripture, this is the type of scripture they were using. It's like a, our Bible, but they don't, there was no Bible, a complete Bible, but like this one, as at that time, Mary and Joseph began to, they were surprised to see Jesus talking to the elders in the temple. They gave a sign of relief. <sighs> Jesus was found at last. Mary now went to him and asked, Son, why have you done this to us? We've been searching for you. And Jesus answered and said, I must be about my father's business. Oh, Mary and Joseph could not understand. But they now remembered what the angel has told them about Jesus, that he, his name will be called Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. Jesus was an obedient child. After he finished with the elders, he followed his parents back to Nazareth. Children, we need to be obedient to our parents, not only our parents, to our teachers in the school. We need to be friendly with people. We need to be kind as well, just like Jesus. Not only that, as little as we are, we can also work for God by playing our instruments in the Sunday school, by singing. We can as well help the ushers to pick their hymn books, or inviting our friends to Sunday school. By so doing, we are working for God. But remember, we cannot work for God with sin in our hearts. We need to pray and invite Jesus to come into our hearts to save our soul. Then we'll be able to work for God, just like what Jesus did. Because Jesus was growing in stature, in wisdom, and knowledge of God. Our key statement for this lesson is Jesus in the temple. The activities for this lesson, ages 2 to 5, follow through the maze and help Mary and Joseph find Jesus in the temple. Ages 6 to 8, Find the right answers to the questions and write the correct numbers in the boxes. Lesson for next week is Lesson 5B, titled, I Saw It Happen. Memory verse, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. John chapter 1 verse 29. That's the end of our lesson. Thank you for listening. See you next Sunday. Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Answer Class.
Hope you had a wonderful week and it's good that you were able to join us today. God bless you. The title of our lesson this week is On the Way to Victory. Let's say it together, On the Way to Victory. Our memory verse is, The Lord is with thee, O mighty man of valor. Judges chapter 6 verse 12. Our Bible text is taken from Judges chapter 6 verse 36 to 40 and Judges chapter 7 verse 1 to 8. Please let's read together. Judges chapter 6 verse 36 to 40. And Gideon said unto God, If thou wilt save Israel by mine hand, as thou hast said, Behold, I will put a fleece of wool in the floor, and if the dew be on the fleece only, and it be dry all upon all the earth beside, then shall I know that thou wilt save Israel by mine hand, as thou hast said. 38. And it was so, for he rose up early in the morrow, and thrust the wool together, and wringed the dew out of the fleece, a bowl full of water. 39. And Gideon said unto God, Let not thine anger be hot against me, and I will speak but this once. Let me prove, I pray thee, but this once with the fleece. Let it now be dry only upon the fleece, and upon all the ground let there be dew. 40. And God did so that night, for it was dry upon the fleece only, and there was dew on all the ground. Chapter 7, verse 1, verse, I'll start from verse 2. And the Lord said unto Gideon, The people that are with thee are too many for me to give the Midianites into their hands, lest Israel vaunt themselves against me, saying, Mine own hand had saved me. Now therefore go to, Proclaim the ears of the people, saying, Whosoever is fearful and afraid, let him return and depart early from Mount Gilead. And there returned of the people twenty and two thousand, and there remained ten thousand. Verse 4, And the Lord said unto Gideon, The people are yet too many. Bring them down unto the water, and I will try them for thee there. And it shall be that of whom I say unto thee, this shall go with thee, the same shall go with thee. And of whomsoever I say unto thee, this shall not go with thee, the same shall not go with thee. Five. So he brought down the people unto the water, and the Lord said unto Gideon, everyone that lappeth of the water with his tongue, like as a dog lappeth, him shall set thou by himself. Likewise, everyone that boweth down upon his knees to drink, and the number that lappeth, putting their hand to their mouth, were three hundred men, but all the rest of the people bowed down upon their knees to drink water. And the Lord said unto Gideon, By the three hundred men, that lappeth will I save you, and deliver the Midianites into thine hand, and let all the other people go everyone unto his place. So the people took victuals in their hand and their trumpets, and he sent all the rest of Israel, every man unto his tent, and retained three hundred men and the worst of the Midianites, was beneath him in the valley. Thank you for reading with me. God bless you. I have a glove here. It's useless on the table as it is. But if I put it in my hand, like this, this glove will keep me warm and it will also protect me when I want to lift up good things that might injure my, my hands. So you see, the glove has become useful. Same as in our story about Gideon, God used him.
because he learned to trust God. The Lord is with thee, O thou mighty man of valor. Go in this thy might, because I have sent you to save Israel from the Midianites. That was the greeting that was made to Gideon by the angel of the Lord. Gideon was surprised by this greeting from the angel because he was only a young farmer beating wheat in the cave, actually hiding from the Midianites. How could he save Israel when all Israel and himself were afraid of the Midianites? How could he save Israel? How? God had a plan to save Israel from the Midianites. But Gideon was not sure how he could save Israel. Could he trust God? Did he have the confidence in God? Could he depend on God? So Gideon requested God to give him a sign of how he was going to use him to save Israel from the Midianites. You remember from our Bible reading that Gideon took a fleece, something like this. This is, this could be a fleece. This, that's what he used. And God confirmed when Gideon asked, he confirmed that he could save Israel. Then Gideon went and gathered 32,000 men to go and fight the Midianites who were in the hill of Moriah in the valley. The 32,000 men, God says, Gideon, these are too many men. Ask those that are fearful and are afraid to go back. And 22,000 men left. They went back to their place. 10,000 men remained. God still said, no, they were too many. 10,000 against so many Midianites. Gideon was not sure. Could he still trust God? Then God said, take this man, the 10,000 you have, to a river so that they can drink water. 9,700 bowed down to drink water on their knees. And God said, this should go back. And only how many remained? Only 300 remained. And these men laughed with their tongue when they were drinking the water. And God said, by these 300 men, I will save Israel. Could the 300 men save Israel from the Midianites? Were they going to have victory over the Midianites? They had to put their trust completely in God. He was going to use them to defeat the Midianites. Our key statement is, I am not afraid if Jesus is with me. If we trust God completely, we can do exploits for him. He can use us. Boys and girls, God can use you if you seek salvation. He can use anybody. Like you remember the story of the glove? It's useless if it's not in my hand. So you have to be saved so that God can use you. Like he used Gideon, who was only a farmer, to fight against the Midianites and have victory with the Israelites. I hope and pray this lesson will help you learn to trust God and be able to know that he can use you. He can use anybody. Boys and girls, the activities for this week's lesson is Gideon's courage using Judges chapter 7 verse 1 to 15. Learn about Gideon as you do the puzzle. The letters at the beginning of the phrases should match the letters given in the boxes. God help you. God bless. Have a wonderful time. Next week's lesson is lesson 72 titled A Total Commitment. The key verse is, Lo, we have left all and have followed thee. Mark chapter 10, verse 28. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. This is the end of our lesson. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you for our lessons today. 
we thank you that you are able to help us trust you completely save our souls heavenly father sanctify baptize us and then we can be used in your vineyard we thank you keep us all throughout this week in your holy name jesus we pray amen thank you boys and girls for joining today's sunday school we hope and pray you enjoyed have a wonderful week ahead god bless you bye